Hello, all my Zencuda fans. How are you guys doing tonight? It is February 21st, and I am so excited because tomorrow is 2-22-2022. Is that not fabulous? I have a beautiful numerologist who actually does a show parallel to mine on uh, Blog Talk Radio, and um, she is a fabulous numerologist, and I can't wait to go home and watch the replay of her show because I want to hear about all the numbers and stuff. I'm going to post some stuff about that tomorrow. So I'm excited. That is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. There is a lot of things happening that are once in a lifetime. As a matter of fact, I was looking over the astrology today, and uh, we have some really amazing things coming in for March and April, so it's going to be great to see that how this energy plays out. I just have to share the show, and as you guys know, I was usually try to share the show before we go on. However, tonight, I was a little bit late, I have to say. Funny story. Um I actually was driving down the highway to get here, and there was a gentleman in a kind of rather old pickup truck doing 37 miles an hour, but I remembered to use my patience and my acceptance, which I'm really working on now, and so I didn't curse too much, but when I finally stopped at a light, I just had to pull up and see who this person was doing 37 miles an hour when I had to get to my show, and as I pulled up next to him, he was all alone in his truck wearing a mask, and I thought, okay. I get it. He's just a fearful person. So he has to go very slow in traffic. So uh, that was my trying to get here tonight. So here I am live. If you want to call into the show anytime tonight, I'm going to be doing cards and readings. I brought so many cards with me tonight. It's not even funny. I actually, um, I think I have about six decks of cards here. So whatever the spirit moves me is where we're going to be, what we're going to be using. I'll talk to you guys all about the different decks that I brought tonight, just in case you are interested in getting any of them in for your, you know, own use or anything like that. Um, but I do have quite a few different decks tonight, including my own Circle of Light cards, which I created uh, last year, and actually two years ago. And that is a deck you can actually buy on my website, zencuda.com, if you want to. And it's a great deck. Those people who have it say that it's really amazing. They love it. So let's see what we have here. I want to look at my comments and see who's here. Hold on one second, Rudy. Just got to post on one more page. I can never find how to post when I'm on here on my Zen on the Zencuda page. It always goes into so much stuff. I don't know why. Oh, I see why it's here. Okay. Zencuda. Okay. So, got this going on, going back to me, got to read my comments. Sorry, guys, I was late, otherwise this would have been done before I got on camera. All right, so let's see who's on tonight. Who is joining me in the soul space? Got to see. Okay, who have I got on here? My gosh, we've got a lot of people on here. Um, oh, Joanna Meyer loves my shirt. I love my shirt, too, but it was kind of like cutesy, so I put it on. I had a really rough last few days, for those of you who are on my page, um, you know that I had a mishap health-wise, um, went for some minor surgery and ended up with uh, quite being incapacitated for days. Kind of stupid, but it happened. Um, so I always trust your intuition. Know what you're doing, right? Um, okay, so we're going to go to the cards right away because I. the reason why I wanted to do a lot of cards tonight was because I felt like on the last few shows... I felt like I didn't really get to do cards for everybody. And there were a lot of people in the comments that were saying, pull a card for me, pull a card for me. And because I had done a lot on the astrology in the beginning of the show, I couldn't really get to everybody to pull a card for a reading. And it's so important to me in the Zencuda community to really reach out and give you guys what you need. And my producer, Bobby, and I were talking about the show and he gave me great advice and he said, give them what they want. So I'm going to give you guys readings tonight because I know you want those. These are the Circle of Light cards that I did uh, for Zen Kuda. They're on the website. They're $35. These are, 30, 20, these are 22 cards that I created, the whole deck. Um, it's my writing and photos in it. And the deck is meant to bring more light into your life, very appropriate now, because we are in a time when we really want to start absorbing more light. Um, I was listening to someone today, and we were talking about um, – having a conversation about what the last two years and the pandemic has done to us all. And we all know, you know, in the, in the three-dimensional world of our physical bodies and 
our materialism and, and our wants and haves and things, and maybe they've slowed up some goals for you. But I think that it's time for us to start really paying attention to what the last two years have done on our nervous system, right? We've all been in this heightened state of anxiety on and off actually for two years. So now is a really important time for us to go into repairing that nervous system and nurturing ourselves and healing and doing some reparation. And I think what we're starting to find now in many of my conversations with people is we're starting to see gifts from the past come back. Things that maybe we started to work on or that we had even as a child or in our early life are starting to rise up to the surface again as we go into our reparation and our repairing our, our inner people and inner nervous system and what have you. So do I have a call, Bob? I think I heard something. Okay. So that's the deck of one of the decks I'm using. The other deck I'm using tonight is Soul Cards. These are a deck I bought quite a while ago that you can still get them on Amazon. These are for people who are completely intuitive and just want beautiful artwork that you can look at and then, you know, you kind of get like a psychic hit or an intuition or a feeling or a sensation or an emotion from. And I use these cards a lot because they don't have words on them. And for me, they really enable me to just open up my psychic ability just by looking at the photos and what they mean to me. And the other thing I love about these beautiful soul cards is that what I get from them, someone else may get even something more and you can really emphasize and embellish um, the, the reading and the, what you're thinking that you get from it. But I read these cards completely intuitively and psychically. The colors, the picture, the imagery bring something into my um, dimensions where I can really communicate well with those. And then I just grabbed, I have probably, I'd say maybe 50 decks of cards um, in a cabinet in my home that's a sacred cabinet. And I usually, when I do, if I do a reading and someone requests cards, I'll pull whatever I intuitively am thinking that I want from the reading. Um, sometimes they'll bring me to my own circle of light cards. Sometimes it'll be an angel deck. But wherever I'm drawn to, it's always absolutely appropriate. So for those of you who are out there looking at cards, um, th that's a great way to start is just, you know, when you go to a store or even on Amazon, Kind of see what resonates with you and what deck is really, you know, something that's going to be. And so tonight I just pulled these Keeper of Light Oracle deck. This is um, by Kyle Gray. He has a lot of cards out. And I love these because they really, um, for me, these are very much the Ascended Masters. Joan of Arc is a card in here. And you all know that I completely align with the energy of Joan of Arc, having been Joan of Arc. So... These are grace cards. These are very dear to my heart. I love these because they're one word cards on the front and then have a saying on the back. I use these a lot in circles when I do spiritual circles or, or work with, with people, you know, groups because they're short and sweet, one word, little, little card. I oftentimes will use these for a confirmation of a reading. And then I have these Doreen Virtue, who I know is not very popular these days, but I still have a million of her decks. This is her Archangel Raphael healing deck. I'll use those if I think someone has a health issue. And then these are my always my go-to, my original tarot cards, which I've had for years. Those cards have so much energy in them. If I read you in person, these are the cards I hand to you for you to put your energy into and shuffle. And then this is a very unique deck. I keep it in a little pouch that one of my very good friends brought me from Mexico. If she's watching, Debbie, you probably um, remember this. And these are lover's cards. These cards are not in print anymore. You cannot get them. They are heart-shaped. I don't know if you can see them. And they have all beautiful messages of love and, you know, twin flame energy and just really romantic, romantic energy. And these I've had for many, many years. They were very um, rare when I got them, and you can't really find them anymore. Okay, so we're going to start reading. I got comments here. I want to see who's on for me to ask. Okay, so I've got Aaron. Hey, Aaron, how are you doing? Um, I wish Aaron lived closer because we would probably, like, go out and get in trouble together. <laughs> okay, I am doing much better. Thank you. So I'm going to start pulling cards. Somebody asked for a soul card. I think that was Elaine. All right, but I'm going to try to go into um, order, and we have Cindy Seville on tonight. Cindy is joining the Paradise Studio and Strong Island Television um, repertoire. She's going to be on, I believe, on Thursday nights. We're going to have Cindy on the show here, and I'll probably be on her show, and she's amazing. You're going to love her. Very positive, positive um, um, show that she's doing. It's going to be called It Is What It Is with Cindy. So look for her show on Thursday nights. She's a great girl. We're going to have her on. 
And so I'm going to go in order, and I'm going to pick Janine. We're going to pick cards for you. Janine, they're telling me to go to actually my Keeper of Light deck. So let's see what we got for you. Janine, my lovely, my lovely Janine. Okay. Yeah, so tonight's a good show. I feel like the energy's better. I really had a rough few days and now feeling a lot better. But as I was saying, we've got a lot of energy coming in in March and April. Um, March 2nd, the new moon that's coming in, huge, huge. That is going to change the energy like you never saw. And I'm going to do a, a video about that if you guys are on my social media just on the, on the new moon. That's probably coming out either today, tomorrow or the next day um, on March 2nd. That new moon is like an energy that we've all been waiting for. It's going to really start a spiritual tsunami. And then on April 12th, we have Neptune conjuncting Jupiter in Pisces. This is something that hasn't happened for 160 years and will bring so much spiritual revelation and connection. Amazing, amazing times that we're coming into. Okay, so Janine, your car. Let's take with the cars now. All right, Janine, you got Archangel Michael. Trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So Janine, this card is for you. Um, it's got a beautiful picture of Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is a protector angel. Many times the military or police or firemen um, use Archangel Michael as a patron saint. So take this card with you and know that you are fully protected in whatever and ever or goal that you are seeking in your life. And always remember to trust the universe, especially when you have a beautiful angel like Michael on your side, because this is a very strong energy. Um, oftentimes when people have Archangel Michael in their aura, I tell them to um, focus on the col color cobalt blue or violet because Archangel Michael responds very well to that color. So if you have anything that you're thinking about doing this week coming, um, that's a goal for you. Wrap yourself in that love of Archangel Michael and know that it absolutely is the way that it's going to be for your success. Okay. Next, I've got Monica. Monica, I'm going to pick a card for you. They're telling me to go to the straight tarot deck. Love, love, love my tarot cards. They are so psychic. I, I learned to read tarot a long time ago. Um, what cards mean to me may be different from other readers because I read psychically. Um, so sometimes the traditional meaning of a card is not what it means for me. So if we have some people out there in the audience watching that do tarot, um, I read psychically. So sometimes you may say, that's not what the card means, but I don't read literal. Okay. So it's two cards flying out for you, Monica. Wow, I believe we got these cards last week, but I could be mistaken because I did a few readings last week on the show. Um, I've got the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So this is all about balance once again for you. I think we spoke about you going through your um, second Saturn return, and that's a time when we really, really balance our lives. So you want to really make sure that you're staying in balance. Ask yourself questions. Questions are a good, good way to stay balanced, Monica. I'm also feeling that this definitely has something to do with a past life or past energy that's resurfacing for you. It could be a pattern in your life. Um, the Nine of Wands also is a card of action. It's a card of conflict. Um, some people would call it fighting. I don't like to use that word. Um, it's way too negative for me. It's a card of conflict. It's a card of battling in a way, but could be battling yourself or something that you really are trying to get through. Welcome to the Soul Space. This is Georgia. Welcome to the Soul Space. This is Georgia Rose. Hi, I was calling in so I can be on, on, uh, on deck for a reading. Okay, just hold on one second. I'm just going to finish up and then we'll get right to you. So, Monica, you what, so I'm feeling, what I'm feeling really strongly is you need to balance something from your past. So work on it in meditation and quiet times and just, you know, ask yourself, how am I feeling? What has been a trigger for me? What's coming up for me? Because this, this is definitely about healing the past, okay? And I'm going to go to the phones now. Hi, this is Georgia Rose. Who am I talking to? This is Pam. Hi, Pam. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Is there any particular question that you want answered? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see what comes up then. Just something in general. <laughs> okay. I am going to go, for some reason, how has your health been? Uh, I've been struggling with some... Uh joint pain so yeah because that I re that's I felt compelled I had to reach out because immediately when I went into your energy that's what I felt was health and I was being directed to use these beautiful um 
Archangel Raphael card. So I'm going to pick a couple of cards for your health. Um, I feel like the joint pain is inflammation, uh, possibly caused by some kind of dietary. Have you ever been gluten sensitive? Um, I've never been tested for it, but I've been doing raw vegan since October. So. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like something with gluten with you. But let me see what the cards are going to say. Um, they're telling me to pull these and also a soul card. So I'll pull two of these first, and then we'll get a soul card for you. But immediately they told me to give you a reading on health. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you been um, looking for advice? Maybe going online, looking for a lot of answers, or even going to doctors or or even holistic, you know, any kind of influencer, have you been really looking for answers? Online, yeah. Um, it's okay. It's going to a chiropractor too, so. Okay, because the two cards that I got were um, fresh air, like really focus on your breath. I feel like you would really benefit from breath work. You know, um, okay. I, I always say, and for those of you who watch me weekly know and watch my other videos, one of the things I always talk about, we talk a lot about relationships in our life, right? Who isn't like, you know, a little bit upset and worshipy about relationships, even our situationships. And so the one relationship we neglect and forget in our life is our relationship with our own breath. And that's the most important relationship you can ever have because it's the first thing we do when we're incarnated into this world. And it is the last thing we do when we come out of this world and transition to another so the relationship that we have with breath serves us very, very much in our life for our health. So focus on some breath work, maybe even, you know, if, you're, if you like to scroll the internet, YouTube or something, and, and try and do some prana breathing, um, some yogic breathing or something like that, because I feel like a lot of your stresses are because you're not breathing properly. And we all do it. We don't even realize we're doing it. Um, right. And the second thing is, and this is coming in very, very strong for me as I pick a soul card for you, um, you have to understand that you are your own authority and that the answer to your health issues is really your inner authority. You have control over whatever joint pain, whatever is going on in your life, but you're, you're surrendering your power looking externally for an answer. And the answer, you know what it is. If you go into silence or meditation, you're going to understand what your body's doing. You are your inner authority, <laughs> and you need to take back that power of supporting yourself and, and not looking for outside support as your driver. Um, out, outside support is good, right? But if you look at this card that says inner authority, it's really telling you that your biggest support is kind of come from within. So this is all about centering yourself. I really think if you can center you do some breath work and really focus on how you're feeling within. I think that's going to be a really big answer to your health problems. And okay. And I the confirmation for me is in this soul card that I got because you have this beautiful light all around the head. And the light in this card actually even extends down into the eyebrows if you look right where your third eye would be. And the third yeah. eye center is really what we can access through our breath if we calm. So I think that your answers are within. I think your, your body wants to be cleared, a little bit detoxed, because it really wants to be able to put you into the potential for your full power. Okay. Does I'm that make sense to you? Time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I feel, and I've, I've given this advice to another person, and, and it's really true. I feel like if you don't heed that and really start to really, you know, center and do what's best, what your body knows you want, you're going to start having more and more health issues. Okay. All right. So, you know, even take a gentle yoga class or you can do them online. You know, I feel like you just need to center your body and detox a little bit. Okay. All right. So good I'm luck to you, Pam. Let you us so know much. how you're doing. We're all going to send you some love. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everybody send hearts to Pam. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a good night. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. That's so true. Oftentimes when we are um, not feeling well, a lot of times it's really all about our, you know, our, our, our own body and mind. You know, it's not always an external thing. You know, it doesn't have to be. 
Um, but I do feel that, you know, sometimes we need to detox. So I'm going to pull a card for where am I here? We are, did Monica, I got Cindy Seville on here. I am going to pull a card for Cindy. As I said, she's joining the uh, Strong Island Television family. We're well, lucky and welcoming her. Um, let's pull a card for Cindy. They're telling me just to pick you one soul card, Miss Cindy. So, and Cindy's story is a beautiful story. She also, like me, is a cancer survivor. You know, how spiritual we get when we're in, uh, we're in detriment. I always say no one goes to church when they're having a good time. We all go praying and fussing and fighting when we're in, de in detriment, right? Something happens in our life and we're like, I got to pray. So, Cindy, I have this beautiful card. This is what I call my Pisces card. It's actually um, a beautiful um, face if Bobby puts the camera down on the table. And we've got um, three fishes in this, which means to me is this is a card of abundance and plenty. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but you can see there's one, two, three fishes. And this is like, I call it my Pisces card. I don't know, I don't know your sign, but, or if there's a Pisces in your life. But to me, this is a card of complete and total abundance. It's someone who is very focused on future and someone, as you can see, all light around the, the head. So to me, this card really shows looking outward towards the future, abundance. It's also a card of connection. And that's why I call it my Pisces card. If you look, two fish are going swimming this way and one fish is swimming the other way. This is a card of resourcefulness and resiliency, of flowing, of whichever way life is bringing you, flowing with the energy and making the best of it. Just like you always say, it is what it is. And this is really your card. It's really showing that whatever happens, whichever way the universe has you flowing, you adapt, you're resourceful, and you come out on top. So this is a really beautiful card. So take that with you tonight and know that you are absolutely where you are supposed to be. All right. Corey, blessings to you too. I am going to pull a couple of cards for Corey. Um, Corey Bethea, I think you are a new viewer. Welcome to the show. I hope you'll, um, you know, share the show and come on social media and, and meet everybody in the community. It's a very loving community. We're going to start doing some Zooms so that we can all interact. I have to pick a date for that. Um, Corey, for some reason, I'm picking a health card for you as well. I got a card talking about diet, but I also want to pick a couple of others because I feel like there's something else going on with you. Okay. Ooh, boy, these cards got a lot of energy tonight. <laughs> okay, Corey. Light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So there's something that you're being guided to do, Corey, and I feel like... This is something that you, you're a little fearful of. Like you don't, it's a big change and you don't know if you really want to do this. But I feel like th this is something about you being as bold and beautiful as you can possibly be. Um, you know, I recently had a epiphany in my own life about, you know, being um, recognized and for what I do. And, and I just pulled another card, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, being recognized in the world and not just in the world, but even recognizing myself and how often we in our lives make ourselves invisible, right? How many of you out there have been taught as a child to, you know, be quiet, don't tell anyone, um, you know, hide in the closet, whatever, when things go rough. And so we bring that invisibility into our adulthood. And I, the reason why I'm talking about that is because I feel that, I feel that something is coming on for you now or coming up for you now that's a decision or something that you really want to do, but you have something holding you back that is a pattern from childhood. And the cards that I picked for you was this, it's, it's saying diet is important here. I got that out of the health deck. But what this is really about is about making choices in your life that are healthy for you and eliminating things that are unhealthy. You know, diet can be food or diet can be anything in our life, right? We have a diet of media. We have a diet of, you know, friends. Um, and so, the other card that I got was shine your light, internal guidance coming through. And then I got the Shekinah, which is the sacred self. And the Shekinah is um, a spirit that comes to us with the rhythm of life. And the Shekinahs come to us when we have something we need to do. And perhaps we're fearful or we're holding back. The Shekinahs are the angels. They're the, the, the goddess, the Shekinah of the sacred self that gives us the power and the intuition to follow our dream, follow our goal which is in perfect alignment with what we're supposed to be doing in the universe. So whatever it is in your life right now, Corey, that you're holding back from, do not hold back. Absorb light, reach for light, 
allow light to come into your heart because the universe is pushing you forward. You just have to dispel the fear with all of the light. All right. So, so take that with you and, and go forward. Do what you're supposed to do because this is a really good thing for you. And it's breaking a lot of patterns that maybe you should have been breaking in your life and, and keep going. That's what I'm going to say to you is keep going. Okay. So now I'm going to pick a card for Sarah. Okay. I'm going to pick a card for Sarah. Sarah, I am going to pick actually one of the grace cards for you. I don't know. They're just telling me to pick grace card for Sarah. One word's going to do it, Sarah. You got one message coming tonight. One word, one phrase. That's what they're telling me. And as I looked up, I just saw the clock said 27 minutes. And that's my mom coming through, number 27. So this is absolute confirmation that we're on the right track here. We're going to pick a word for you and a phrase. And that is your message for this evening, Sarah. It's this card. The card is presence. It has this beautiful woman sitting here just being present in the moment. And on the back of the card, Sarah, it says, bring your mind into present moment. Now is the only place to be. And that is your message for this evening. And it's a beautiful message. So if you've been a little bit scattered or anything today, just bring your mind into the present moment. They're telling you to be fully present to enjoy your life. All right. And the next one is Joanna Maya. Joanne, going to pick health cards for you. Um, and they're telling me to pick from the love deck. Ooh. <laughs> health and love. Joanne's on fire tonight. Okay, Joanne, this card's going to be for you. They're saying something about nutrition. So you are not taking as good care of yourself as you should be. Um, nutrition to me is also light. You know, we have to eat and we have to drink and then we have to go out and absorb light. So if you don't do that, um, we get depleted and we don't have enough nourishment. So make sure you're getting out in the light, especially today here in the Northeast in a couple of days this week. It's going to be really beautiful weather. So get out there. Um, it's time for you to really focus on the things that you bring into your body, nourishment wise, food, water, media, sound, everything. All right. And then they're telling me to pick a love card for you. This is about, this card is in relation to a relationship that you think about often. It doesn't necessarily have to be material in your life right now, but it is, even if it's not present, this is the main relationship that you think about most often, the main relationship that you think about often. And here is the message for you. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that's so true because, you know, if we don't have things to challenge us in life, we never grow. So take that message with you, Joanne. And the next card is going to be for Anne Rothy. Rothney. Anne, how are you tonight? We're doing good here. Um, Anne, they're telling me to pick regular tarot cards for you. Okay. All right, Anne. For some reason, Anne, I'm getting all pink light around you. Pink light. I'm going to pick an, an, uh, a Keeper of the Light card for you as well since I'm getting that pink light around you. Okay. This is the card. Yeah. And I feel like you're trying to make choices. I've got this beautiful um, Four of Cups here. And the Four of Cups is actually, if you look at the card, it's actually a person sitting by a tree. They're looking down at the grass kind of. Um, looking down and in quiet contemplation. But Spirit's hand is in the, in the uh, picture where he's offering them a cup and there's cups on the ground by them. This is an indication that we have to make a choice, but sometimes we don't always know what the choice is. We don't realize what's being offered to us is really an opportunity. And so we have to look up. And that's also a lesson in being present because sometimes we're looking down, we're in worry or we're in confusion or we're thinking about a lot of different things that haven't happened yet or maybe have happened in the past. But when we look up and we're fully present, then we can see everything that the universe is handing us for an opportunity. And that's what this card is about. So if there's something that you're not seeing, open wider, be more fully present, look around you in your life because there is an opportunity coming through. And if there's a choice you're trying to make, look up and ask for the universe and God to definitely give you a, um, a, a intuition and give you information, give you guidance. 
because you're you're not seeing everything that that's being offered you here and there's some really beautiful things being offered you right now and then i was told to pick the keeper of light card which i'm going to do for Anne. and again you got the shekinah it's the same as i had said for jo for um who was it that got the shekinah that was Corey. Um, and again, this is about going within the sacred self. The universe is giving you everything you need in order to fulfill whatever is your wish, your desire, your full potential in this universe. You just really have to believe it and go within and, and he, listen and hear. So whatever choice you're trying to make is going to be really good. You're going to do a great job. You're going to really go into your potential. It's going to be beautiful for you. You just need to look up and become aware and present in your space. Okay? There's guidance there. You just got to see it. All right, so I'm going to pick a card for Aaron. Aaron, I'm picking one word card for you out of the grace cards from um, Cheryl Richardson. There's a message in here for you. And then I'm going to pick a soul card for Elaine. Okay. Aaron, this is your card. I, it was screaming at me that this is your card. Um, if um, it's so funny because if Bobby can put a camera on this, I don't know if you'll see it on online, but it is actually like someone sitting on a stage, standing on a stage, and the word is act. And for me, this is about performance and how we perform in our lives. And sometimes we have things that are just a performance, and it's only when we really sit in in quiet that we realize what's truly authentic to us. But it's so funny that I picked this card because you, I saw something that you put on social media recently about moving forward in your life and how you were feeling tired but you were pressing forward and the words on the card say charge forward when we combine action with unwavering faith the power of grace will meet our needs so take that with you Aaron how appropriate is that it says act charge forward when we combine action with unwavering faith the power of grace will meet our needs that is absolutely beautiful. So believe in the universe. Know you are exactly where you were supposed to be. But I want to caution you one way, and that is please go after the things that are absolutely authentic to you and don't get bogged down with things that may not be so authentic. Hi. Hi, this is Georgia Rose in the Soul Space. How are you tonight? Oh, hi, Georgia. It's Pauline from New York. Hi, Pauline. How are you? The Queens, I mean, I'm blushing, actually. <laughs> Uh, Are you Jenny hi, from the um, Bronx? I, I got in so quick. I thought I was going to be on a long line waiting to get a reading. If I, I think sometimes people are shy. You know, people get a little shy. <laughs> Not me. I'm never shy. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so hold on Are one second because I'm going to just pick a soul card for Elaine Risotto. And okay. Elaine, this is, and then we're going to go to you, Pauline. Okay. So Elaine, this is your soul card. <gasps> Elaine, you are on fire, baby. You are on fire. And I know you are a Pisces. And when April 12th, when Neptune and Jupiter conjunct in Pisces, you're going to need like to put rocks in your pockets or you may blast off because the psychic power and ability for connection from then on for like a while, like a few weeks, maybe even a little longer. I mean, this is psychic energy that hasn't come through for 160 years. And you being a Pisces, I got to look at your chart because I wonder how close this is to your uh, son. So this is the card that I just picked for you. And if you can see it on camera, it is this beautiful, like almost like Buddhist or, or galactic looking figure that is just surrounded by the fire, surrounded by fire connection and has these beautiful praying hands, almost like lightning bolts coming out of the center chakras. This is absolute connection on fire psychic energy. And that is where you are headed, Miss Elaine. So that is your card. I don't even need to say any more on that one. So Pauline, how are you doing? What can I do for you tonight? Great. Um, I, guess, uh, I guess I like one of your soul cards. Too. Oh, okay. We're going <laughs> to do a soul card for you. Is there any question or anything that you're thinking about? No, or? I just I just want, uh, I guess what, the universe wants to let me know how I'm doing. Um, I'm moving along pretty, pretty good, so I'm just... Okay, so I'm going to pick a soul place. card, and then I'm also going to pick a grace card for you, because that's what I'm being told to do, okay? Okay. So, soul card. Wow, yeah. This is about you um, receiving, this is a card where I can see if they can see, show on camera. This is about, you know, sometimes we have a little bit of darkness that comes into our li life 
only because we allow it. We allow people in that maybe we shouldn't, or we allow situations to come in that maybe we shouldn't. And this card is showing that, but it's also showing that if you reach past that just a little bit, whatever is, you know, still a little murky, reach past the murkiness, mm -hmm. that there's a lot of divine guidance waiting for you. I feel like this has something to do with you moving through a relationship pattern and coming out the other side to be really, really in, more in balance. Um, and I'm going to... Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to... That's what I'm feeling. And I'm going to go to a grace card for confirmation on that because I really feel like you, you've, you've had a couple of dark nights of the soul and you've gone through some really dark things, I feel like. Just, you know, just insecurity, maybe painful questioning. And now I feel like the light is really coming to receive you at the other end, almost like going through a tunnel or the eye of a needle, you know? Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. And that's I keep learning. I keep like screwing up and always getting to the, yeah, I always get myself in trouble. Thanks to my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, a card flew out of the deck and you know, not always, but a lot of the time when a card flies out of the deck, I really yeah. like to use it because that means spirit wants me to be, take note of that. And I have to tell you that this card that came out is peace. And on the back Yay, of the I yeah, love having peace. Thank you. And Thank on the you, back please. of the card, on the back of the card, it says, "When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness." So my advice to you would be, you know, you're not through this murky time just yet, but it's coming for you. I think it's really important for you not to engage. Whatever doesn't feel right, or whatever is feeling a little bit, you know, cloudy or blurry for you. Don't engage with it. Go into the light and, and really go into the light. Absorb more light. Be in light. That's really what the message is for you tonight, okay? Yeah, I love that. I'm, I'm glad you, your story that you told about your not listening to your intuition. Yeah, that's it's really, really good. One. Yeah, I wow. think it's. I think everything works out so well when we do that. And I actually yeah, had yeah. Um, had a little something, something happen in the last few days where I didn't follow my intuition and I got zonked. So even, you know, no matter how far along we are in our spiritual path, it's really important for us to make sure that we really, really hone into that intuition. So you're doing a great job. Everybody give, give um, 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 Pauline a hand. I'm sorry, Pauline a hand. For some reason, the name Pamela keeps coming into my brain today. I don't know if anyone has a Pamela out there. But um, sometimes spirits do that. They just visit. But um, you're doing a great job, Pauline. So give yourself a pat on the back and give yourself some self-love this week and do something great for yourself. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You very, very much. So this card, next cards are going to be for Anne. And um, she's asking me um, if Edward's med test will be better this week than last week. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into a couple of different cards here. I am going to go into the tarot, but they're telling me also to use my Circle of Light deck. So let's do that, and let's talk about... Spirit, give me a couple of hits about Edward's med test. I got cards flying all over the place now. Spirit's like, Georgia, over here. No, over here. No, over here. There's a lot of angels in the studio tonight, I have to tell you. I brought some angels with me. Can you feel them, Bobby? No. He's feeling them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to pick um, a tarot card, and I'm going to pick a circle of light card. Circle of light deck. Telling me this card. Okay. Okay. And then a tarot card. So... The number card that I got from the Circle of Light deck was number 13, Karma. And I feel like the last time Ed did his test, maybe he didn't listen to doctor's orders. You know, like maybe they told him to do something or take something or not eat something or whatever it was. And this time the tests are better because um, he's, he's more, he's more, he's, he's more, I, it's so funny because Bobby and I were having a conversation about this word earlier today and it's coming in, obedient. He's like listening to doctor's orders, I feel like, maybe. I don't know. But that's what I'm getting. So let me pick the tarot card for some confirmation. I feel like I feel like at the worst case, things are going to be the same. But I feel like they're not going to be worse. Yeah, I'm getting the number three. And this is a card of celebration that just came out of tarot. So that, based on the karma, is also ripples of light across the world. 
I feel like he deserves a break. I feel like this is going to be good. Like it's good news coming. I'm going to pick another tarot card to see what the spread is saying about this since it's medical. Um, yeah, I got the I got the health card. So and it's in reverse. So I feel like he's moving away from the really. If he had a very serious health problem, he's moving away from that now. The energy is starting to go more towards um, celebratory, more towards happiness. So it'll be good. Yeah, definitely. All right. Next card is going to be for Roz Camplin. Roz, since you gave me hearts on here, I'm going to pick from you from the lover's deck. All right. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to go and scroll down to my comments a little bit because I know I don't have a whole lot of time. Who's Pam? <laughs> You're welcome, Cindy. I can't wait to have you here in the studio with us. Okay. Yeah, the health test. Yeah, I feel, um, as I said, with the health part, and that's definitely, he's going to get better news because I, the cards that I pulled are showing me the, the negativity, the darkness, the, I almost feel like pollution on his health is definitely moving away. And I feel like it's something with the blood or something with the lower abdomen is what I'm getting on that. Okay. So now, um, Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next. Oops, oops, oops. I got healing. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm just looking on the comments a minute, so you got to just bear with me. Okay, this is for Roz. Well, I just pulled the healing card, so I'm going to actually say that's for Anne because she was still talking to me through the comments. Um, Sarah says the card that she got makes sense. Okay. So this is for Roz. And just, if you can put in the comments and if, um, Edward has like, I'm getting lower abdomen or something with the blood. So if you can put in the comments about that and I just pulled the healing card. So now this is for Roz. The healing may be for you also Roz in a relationship capacity. All right. I know sometimes it gets a little confusing because we're all, um, online and everything, but I know the energy. So you guys got to trust me. Okay. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Knowingness. It's all about our knowingness and being really strong in our own authority. Okay. So Roz, I'm getting in for you relationship, but I'm not getting a romantic relationship for you, Roz. I'm getting something with parent parents, your mom and dad. Um, I don't, I feel like, I feel like they're on the other side, but maybe they're not. Um, if you could put in the comments, if they are, so that I know which way to go. Um, their energy is just coming in really strong for me. I'm going to go with dad first. I feel like there's some unresolved things with dad that need to be resolved. And I'm going to give you the advice that I just gave one of my very good friends over the weekend and that I actually only give this advice because it's my own personal experience. When anyone passes over and we have something that's unfinished or unrecognized, we can still do the work with them even though they're on the other side. I healed a relationship with my own father that way. Um, I still am doing that work with him and he's not here on this earth plane. But you can feel the sensations of them and you can feel their emotions. And the beautiful thing about doing a reconciliatory relationship uh, work when someone is no longer on this earth is that their energy is so purely love. And so there's none of the recriminations or the arguing or the, the, the nastiness that there ever was on this earth plane because that's what we do with, as in our human space. But when they cross over, they understand so much more. So if there's anything that was unfinished with your dad, Roz, know that you can still heal that um, and, and there's time to do that. Even, you know, speak to him, whether he's here on the earth plane or not, speak to him, okay? And I'm going to pull a card for the confirmation on that. Yeah, and this is really appropriate. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind, for the heart is the gateway of the soul. And that's absolutely true. And that's how I read when I do a mediumship reading and, and I bring people over from the other side and they, they speak to me and communicate. It's the soul. That love that is in the soul carries over. And this is definitely for Roz and anyone out there who needs to hear it. But Roz, this is your message. They're telling me to tell you this this evening. The soul lives on and love is unlimited. 
So even if someone is not in this earth plane that you've had a relationship with that you need to, to work on further, you can still do that because the energy of their soul is what will come through. When you speak to them, when you feel their presence, that's how I read. It's the energy of, uh, of past loved ones' souls that I speak to. So just know that and know that you can still do that work and that you are so loved. And I tell everyone all the time, because I truly believe this and I, I feel it in my own life, if someone loved you, in this world, in this three-dimensional earth plane, and they loved you, you know, a mother's love, a father's love, a child's love, a, a, a partner's love, a, a sibling's love, a friend's love, and that love was so deep and abiding and fierce, when they go to paradise, can you imagine how much they love you? It's unbelievable, the love that you would feel from the other side. So take that with you, and that's a special gift for you tonight, Roz, because there is someone on the other side really, really sending you so much love and so much heart. So so just know that. And Sarah, I'm reading your comments. I see it. See, that's wonderful. See, there's a there's a lesson for you. Be present in your day. Elaine, I'm going to come over and watch because you're going to be flying. Um, okay, Lisa, husband has chronic pain, depression, anxiety, has not worked in three years. Will you ever get relief and go back to work? Um, I'm going to pull a health card for you, Lisa. I feel like there's something that your husband is ruminating on um, I feel like it's something that actually happened closer to five or six years ago, either an incident or a loss, and he's stuck there. He's just stuck in that place. I strongly suggest, and I'm not a doctor, I'm just suggesting this, again, from personal experience, you need to move that energy, and sometimes hypnosis or working with a really beautiful therapist is a really great thing. Um, there's a lot of different things out there that are really helpful and I feel like he needs that. He's, he's stuck in a place. He's, it's almost like he's just stuck in this energy and he needs the energy to be moved. You may even want to try some Reiki or some energy healing. Um, I have a beautiful, beautiful um, friend, spiritual soul sister, Kim Shiano at Serenity Within Wellness who does Reiki work. She's amazing. Um, but I feel like that's what I'm feeling. I don't even really need to pull a card, but I feel like um, it's definitely stuck energy. And the card that I pulled says stay positive. And I feel like he's just really in negative. He keeps ruminating and ruminating and ruminating about whatever this thing is that happened about five or six years ago. Um, and it, it definitely needs to be healing energy. The card that I picked said expect a miracle. And what they mean by that is not that you need a miracle, but that when we believe truly that someone is going to be healed, that is a miracle. Believe we are all miraculous beings and have the power to heal ourselves. And the card says that um, it's about healing energy which is, has restored. And the prayer they're giving is, and it's so amazing that I was just talking about Kim Shiano. You can find her online, Serenity Within Wellness. If you're watching Kim, I feel like this person really needs Reiki. Um, you got stuck energy there, man, really stuck energy. And the card I picked has a person giving Reiki to someone. And it says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for your miraculous intervention and healing energy, which has restored the health of your husband you know, whoever the name is. So I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually, I've actually picked the energy healing card and they're actually giving Reiki to somebody. So that's what it is. You can, you know, follow doctor's orders and take whatever drugs and whatever therapies that you need to take. Uh, but I, I feel like he's just got stuck energy. He's ruminating about something that happened five or six years ago. It, it only came into his consciousness in three years, but that's what's happening there. Try it. Can't hurt you. Reiki cannot hurt you. Reiki's only going to make your life better. All right. Um, hey, Donna. Everybody, please send love out to Donna Burrell. I was going to put her on my prayer list tonight, and I forgot. I remembered this morning in my own prayers. Um, Donna is a longtime cancer patient, somebody that I work with, and she is such a beautiful soul. She's a fighter of all fighters. I've never seen anybody fight like this girl. And she just fell on her stoop a couple of weeks ago and broke her back, and they had to stop chemo for a while. Please, please, everyone out there, send her healing, healing energy in the Zencuda community. That's what we're all here for. Um, Oh, Pam Brewer, keep bringing up Pam. There it is. Okay, that must be you. So, Pam, I'm going to pick cards for you. Really, really cool. Okay, Pammy, 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 Pammy. What are they? I'm oh, going to go I'm all over here. I'm waiting to see where the energy goes. Okay, they're telling me to pick you a grace card. Pam, there's something with work. Something with work. I don't know if you're trying to change something with work or a situation is reaching the threshold of intolerance. But there's something with work really great coming your way. It's like something you've been waiting for, all right? So take that with you, Pam. 
Um, something with work. Maybe you're going to change or do something you always wanted to do. Maybe a hobby becomes a business. Grace card on this is choice. So you're going to make a choice about it, I guess. For every action, there is a reaction. Choose wisely. The words that are coming to mind for me, coming to my mind for you, Pam, are do not stay in places where you should no longer be. Follow your heart. 2022 is all about following the heart. It's all about leading with the heart, letting our heart lead. And it's just coming in so strongly for me right now with you. I can actually feel heat and building up in my heart chakra. So Pam, whatever choice you're trying to make, I feel like it has to do with work, career, vocation, something that's a labor of love that you really want to do in your life. So follow that. Follow that heart-based energy. Ask before you go to sleep tonight if you're unsure about what I might be speaking about. Ask um, Spirit to please come in and guide your choices, all right? Um, I think that might be all we have time for tonight. I'm so sorry. Dad is on the other side. Roz, it was absolutely Dad then. The energy is amazing, love. Work with him. If there's anything that was unfinished, please, please just talk to him because he's still there to answer you and you will hear him. You might not hear him like he's in the room with you, but you'll hear him in your heart. All right. Um, yeah, Joanne, I feel like this is about a relationship pattern for you. That's what it was. Hey, Gina, how are you doing? Love, Gina. Um, gonna pull up, My final card is going to be for Gina. Donna Boreal, I don't have to pick a card for you because I am sending you all of the love the universe has to offer and a million billion angels by your side right now bathing you in violet light. I hope you hear every single word that I am saying. Angels, please go to Donna now. And call in all your angels tonight, Donna. You're going to have a good night's sleep and you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to feel a lot better. All right? Okay, if Gina can, Gina, um, Coffin, we're going to compassion card, Gina. And your message is be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. And boy, is that ever true. Gina is actually the reason I do a podcast. She called me up one day and said, hey, I think you'd be great on a podcast. And the rest is history. So if you're all enjoying the show, please share it. Um, and please like me on Facebook, Georgia Rose Zancuda. We've got two pages. We've got the Zancuda page and the Georgia Rose page on Facebook. We've got Zancuda Official on Instagram and my YouTube channel where you can watch me, listen to me, over a hundred different videos and every soul space is banked there in a playlist for you to watch and share. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I love you all. Give you guys all a big hug. Be good to yourselves this week. Do something beautiful for yourselves. You're all miraculous souls and I love you. Good night, everybody.